Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the life and works of American artist Theo Ruggles Kitson. At the turn of the 20th century, Theo Ruggles Kitson was one of the more popular American sculptors whose works are found on public display across the United States. Theodora Alice Ruggles was born in Brookline, Massachusetts in 1871. As a child, she often created sculptures out of snow or sand. In 1885, her unusual artistic talent was noticed by Edward Clark Cabot, a Boston architect and artist, who encouraged her family to enroll Theodora in an art academy. Despite her obvious talents, she was rejected from several art schools because of her age or gender. In 1886, Henry Hudson Kitson, an English sculptor, was hired as Theodora's art tutor. The following year, Henry, Theo, and Mrs. Ruggles, Theo's mother, headed to Paris, where Theodora flourished. She worked alongside many other artists while refining her skills. Over the next few years, her works were displayed and praised in the Paris salons, the showcases of European and Western art. By the early 1890s, the trio were back in the U.S. Theodora's successes in Paris brought her popular acclaim at home. She was commissioned to create sculptures for the 1893 Columbian Exposition in Chicago, and soon other projects followed. That same year, she married Henry Kitson. The couple set up a studio in Boston, Massachusetts. The late 19th and early 20th century saw a boom in the creation of public military memorials. The Kitsons competed for many of these commissions. In 1900, Henry, with contributions from his wife, completed the Minuteman statue on Lexington Green, while Theo was hired to create a Civil War monument for the town of Newburyport. That statue, called the Volunteer, was unveiled in 1902. The statue was tremendously popular, and numerous copies would be mass-produced and installed throughout New England. In 1903, a copy of the Volunteer was used as the Massachusetts Memorial at the Vicksburg Battlefield in Mississippi. Theo contributed numerous other statues to the Vicksburg battlefield, including the equestrian statue at the Iowa Memorial. Theo created her most enduring and famous work in 1906, a statue commemorating the soldiers who fought in the Spanish-American War, the Philippine-American War, and the Boxer Rebellion. Named The Hiker, this monument was first installed at the University of Minnesota in Minneapolis. In 1921, rights to the statues were acquired by the Gorham Manufacturing Company in Providence, Rhode Island, and at least 50 copies were produced and installed around the United States. The success of the volunteer and the hiker made Kitson an in-demand artist. In 1907, she completed two commissions, a memorial to the New York 124th Infantry Regiment, popularly known as the Orange Blossoms, and a memorial in Galesburg, Illinois, to Mary Mother Bickerdyke, a Civil War nurse and hospital administrator. While both Theo and Henry enjoyed professional success, their marriage struggled, and in 1909 the couple separated, though they never divorced and occasionally collaborated on projects. Throughout the 19-teens, Theo Ruggles Kitson continued to produce numerous works, including dozens of memorial relief portraits for the Vicksburg Battlefield. In total, she produced 73 works for the Vicksburg Battlefield. In 1914, Theo unveiled another Civil War memorial, the Fallen Color Sergeant in Topsfield, Massachusetts. Though her production slowed in the 1920s, Theo did create a few notable statues. In 1927, she sculpted a statue of Thaddeus Kuskusko for the Boston Public Garden. And in 1929, in collaboration with her daughter, she created a work entitled Victory, but known as the Iron Horse, in Hingham, Massachusetts. During the 1930s, as monuments to soldiers of the First World War were being dedicated, one of Theo Kitson's designs once again grasped the public imagination. Known as the Doughboy, the image of a World War I soldier was produced and sold by the Gorham Company to communities across New England. In 1937, five years after her death, one of Kitson's doughboys was installed in Mansfield. Theodora Alice Ruggles Kitson was a groundbreaking artist, a successful woman in a male-dominated field. Her statues and artwork are found on town commons, public squares, and battlefields across the country, and have helped shape how Americans commemorate the past. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.